So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 38th basics of JavaScript video and let's discuss event handlers in this one. So what happens is that you would need to sometimes provide interactivity to your web application and for that you need to add events like clicking elements, you know, double clicking elements, pressing keys, stuff like that. So for those what we have is something called as event handlers in JavaScript. So let's get straight into the most commonly used event handler and that is on click, right? So what you want to do is fire a piece of function when an element is clicked, as simple as that. So I'm gonna say that const element, which is my element, is get element by ID, my name, which is this particular thing, right? And what I want to do is when I when I click on this, I want certain code to be executed. So how to do that? Well, you can say element dot on click, and then you can assign this a function, right? So you're assigning this property of this object a function. Now this function is the function which would be executed when on click happens. And on click is automatically called by browser whenever somebody clicks on this element. So I'm just gonna say console log clicked and hit save. You see, when I click on this, my name is Mehul, we get console logs of clicked, right? 12 console logs. So this was one way of creating an event handler. There's another way directly from your HTML. So what you can do is directly from HTML, you can say within your HTML, um, let's say I create on click here also, I say on click and uh, let's just create another function, my function and say console log something else clicked, right? And copy this, paste it here. Hit save. Now, if I if I click on this P, you see we get something else clicked. If I click on this H1, we get clicked, and then again something else clicked. So this was another way of creating event handlers. This is known as attaching an event handler in as inline code, right? So you you're doing this inside HTML, in as inside inline the element so it's called inline event this you are doing by selecting the element first in javascript and then doing it this is a better approach a more cleaner approach as well but uh, frameworks like view and stuff actually allows you to have inline events so this was all about on click there could be a lot of elements there could be a lot of event handlers actually and you can just basically Google them and uh, see their usage. The other one you can use is on DBL click, which is on double click. And if you do that, what you're gonna see is if I double click on this, then I get clicked. See? On a similar basis, we have other event handlers as well. I'm gonna discuss the keyboard event handlers later on in the code, but for now, let's just keep this on click and double click only so i guess that's all for this video and in the next video we're gonna see some more information about this